Yeah, this video will show how to uh, draw uh, transition metal complexes when there's a central metal uh, in octahedral ligands attached to it, and how to draw possible different uh, stereoisomers and find out if there's a plane of symmetry in the transition metal complex, uh, and hence uh, uh, check whether there's an antimers of a, a complex possible. So let's take a look at it. Here's an example of a transition metal complex with a central metal, and I'll say three ligands, uh, three W's, two A's, and one B. Uh, the, the W could be water, but it um, doesn't have to be. So what we do is, we'll, uh, as we talked about in class, what we'll do is write all possible trans ligands. So one, one possible example is when, let's say, two of the waters are trans to each other. The other water could be opposite of A, and then a, the second A could be opposite of B. So this is just one possible sort of uh, geometric isomer to draw. So um, how can we draw this? Well, let's look at it and see what happens. So here it is, right here. We're going to draw it. Here's the left-hand image here. We have the central metal. And we have, um, as shown here in this little abbreviated uh, diagram, two Ws across from each other trans, a W and A across from each other, and finally an A and a B across from each other. So that's how we can draw it. Now, the question is, uh, this guy have a mirror image. Uh, this is the mirror image. We simply put the mirror plane here and draw it in this fashion. We've done this plenty of times. The question is, are these two molecules superimposable? Um, if they are not, they're an antimer. So if they are superimposable, they're identical. And this cannot exist as an antimer. So uh, we learned before that the easiest way to find out is if a molecule can be existing in an antimer is to find a mirror plane if there's a mirror plane that can't. So let's draw a mirror plane through this one. We're going to get rid of this particular image now and just look at here. Uh, now, I, I've shown to uh, shown to shown this mirror plane right here and the yellow. It cuts through A, W, B, A and the l metal uh, ion in the middle. Uh, so let's ask the question, uh, are, is this a plane of symmetry? And in fact, I think you can see that it is. Um, in this direction, the kitty corner is the uh, w and in the opposite direction equal to the center part is the w. So there is symmetry across this plane with respect to these w's and of course because all these other are actually in the plane when the plane cuts through at half of a for instance would be on one side half of b a would be on the other side the same is true for all these hence this is a mirror plane this molecule hence could not exist as a mirror image molecule that was non-superimposable as we do in the previous slide. Uh, however, there's an easier way to draw this because this mirror plane is a little bit tricky to see. Um, one could have drawn it in many different orientations through this equatorial plane. Let's rearrange the ligands a little bit, keeping this sort of trans combination and see if there's an easier way to do it. So we could do it this way. We could have, instead of I put the uh, WWs opposite each other in the equatorial plane, let's make them axial now. But notice we still preserve their, their trans nature. This W is opposite W. W, A, W, A are opposite, and A, B opposite each other. So now let's ask the question. I mean, this is not the mirror image of this, but let's just ask the question. Is there a mirror plane in here? And I think we we'll can see that it's easier to find the mirror plane. It's actually the equatorial plane. Uh, if we cut through here, you know, all the atoms in the plane, the two A's, the M, the W, and B would be bisected in half. So part of, part of each one of these would be just above the plane, part below the plane. But what's easier to see is that the axial ligands are clearly opposite on the opposite sides of the plane and equal distance from the M. So there is the a actual equatorial plane is indeed the mirror plane, plane of symmetry. So uh, this shows basically how one can determine if there are molecule transition metal coordination complexes. Octahedral can exist as an enantiomer. It's often easiest to draw trans ligands axial to look for those mirror planes.